start to come up to standing um, at the top of the mat. stare at the tip of the nose and breathe. Just breathe in through the nose and out the nose. The heels push down, the feet push down, the head lifts up. Start to find uh, Ujjayi. Pelvic floor lifts in and up into the body. Mula Bandha. The other one is Udiyada Bandha, the belly lock. It lifts in and lifts up as well. Sort of like the letter J. Draw it down and lift up. The hands are prayer. We'll start with a single ohm. Take a big inhale. Starting to start A. Inhale, bring the hands up overhead, the palms come together. Exhale, fold, bring the hands down onto the mat. Just the head lifts with an inhale breath, look forward. Exhale, jump back to a low push up, the elbows coming to the bottom. With an inhale, the chest lifts. Exhale, press backwards to downward facing down. Feet are separated, hip distance apart, the head drops down. Five breaths here. Two. The fingers are spread wide. More weight on the inside of the hand. We do want to bring the heels toward the floor. Three. Stretching out the back of the hamstrings by engaging the front of the thighs. Four. And five. Look up past the hands, bend the knees, and lightly hop, step the feet all the way down. Halfway lift with an inhale. Exhale, the head drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, palms come together, lift the thumbs. Exhale, bring the arms down and stand tall. We're doing it again. Inhale, reach up, look up to the hands. Exhale, fold from the waist, bring the hands down onto the mat. Just the head lifts with an inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump backwards, low push up, elbows in the bottom. With an inhale, the chest lifts, elbows in. Exhale, press backwards to downward facing dog. Breathing through the nose and breathing out through the nose. Two. Don't back. <laughs> Three. Three. Four. Five. Next inhale, jump forward, keep the hands on the floor. Exhale, fold, drop the head down. Hands are still on the mat. Inhale, reach the hands up overhead, palms come together, look at the thumbs. Exhale, bring the arms down and stand tall. Ekam, inhale, reaching up. Dwe, exhale, full, hands to the mat. Trini, inhale, just lift the head. Chitwari, exhale, low push. Pancha, inhale, chest lifts. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Nasrata Mudra, gazing at the navel. One. Two. Three, four, five. Sapta, inhale, jump forward. Ashtal, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, reach the hands up to the ceiling, palms together, look at thumbs. Exhale, samasiti hi. Last one. Inhale, reach up, look at. Exhale, fold, bring the hands on the mat. Keep the hands on the mat, lift the head, inhale. Push the ground away, jump back to a low push-up. 
chest lifts up with an inhale breath. Exhale, press backwards to downward facing dog. The feet separate, the head drops down. One. So this is the practice where we're opening up the body. Two. This is the warm-up sequence. Three. We're going to get the legs, the body, the arms, increasing the heart rate. Four. The heat from the practice comes from within. Five. Look forward, inhale, jump forward. Exhale, fold. Head drops down, hands are still on the mat. Inhale, reach the hands up overhead, palms come together, look at thumbs. Exhale, summa sikhti hi. Surya namaskar, B, sit the bum down, reach the arms forward and up, palms together, look at thumbs. Exhale, fold, bring the hands down onto the mat. Just the head goes with an inhale breath. Exhale, jump back to a low push up again, elbows into body. The chest lifts up, inhale, straight arms, the elbows turn it. Exhale, press backwards to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel down, rise all the way up, palms together, look to thumbs. Exhale, come back to a low push up. The chest lifts up, inhale, straight arms. Exhale, press backwards, downward dog. Other side. Left foot forward, inhale, rise all the way up, palms together, look to thumbs, back heels on the mat. Exhale, fold forward, bring the hands all the way down, step back, low push up. Chest lifts, inhale. Exhale, back to downward facing up, hand in. Two. Three. Get a little bit wider. Get a map of the part. Four. TV turn the heels toward each other, maybe? Is that better? Five. Inhale, jump forward. Exhale, fold. Bum sits down, reach the arms up, palms together, lift the thumbs. Exhale, sum the seat to heel. Let's do it again. Sit down, inhale, reach up. Dwe, exhale, fold, hands on the mat. Trini, inhale, just the head lift, hands stay on the mat. Chitwari, exhale, low push up. Pancha, inhale, chest lifts. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Sepka, inhale, right foot forward, rise all the way up, palms together, lift your thumb. Ashtau, exhale, fold. Okay. <laughs> Nava, inhale, chest lifts. Dasha, exhale, downward facing dog. Ekadasha, inhale, left foot forward, rise all the way up, palms together, lift your thumbs. Dwadasha, exhale, fold, low push up. Triodasha, inhale, the chest lifts. Chaturdasha, exhale, downward facing dog. Gazing at the navel again. One. And find the state of stillness. Two. This is the state of the asana. The whole flow is about this pose. Three. Pressing down, lifting up, bellies in. Four. Calm the heart rate down. Five. Punch it a shot. Inhale, jump forward. Shoulder shot. Exhale, fold. Hands are still on the neck. Step to the shot, sit down, inhale, reach the arms up, palms together, lift the thumbs. Exhale, summa sikhti hi. One more. Sit down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, place the palms on the mat. Keep the palms on the mat, lift the head only, inhale. Let's get long again, do Exhale, jump back, low push up, elbows in the body. Chest lifts, inhale. Exhale, downward facing go. Right foot forward, left heel down, rise up, one breath, inhale. Exhale, fold, hands down, step back, low push up, all one exhale. Chest lifts up with the inhale breath, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, with an inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, come back to a low push up. Elbows in. Chest lifts up, inhale, there's a low push up right Exhale, back to downward facing, I was watching you. Got you. <laughs> one. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, jump forward. Exhale, fold. Sit down, inhale, reach up, palms together, look at thumbs. Exhale, Samma Siddhi. Parangustasana. Step the feet apart, hip distance apart, full forward, catch the big toes. Exhale, drop the head down. 
for one. We always grab the toes the same way. It's index, first two fingers, grab the toes, and palms face each other. Two, and you're dropping the head down as the shoulders open away from each other. Lean more to the toes. Three, so not into the heels. Bend the knees, lean forward. Bend your knees. Again, you're leaning forward to the toes. You're pulling up on four. Bend the knees. Yeah, now lean forward. Five, now try to circle as you're walking. Ooh. Lift the head on the inhale. Exhale right here. Pada Hastasana. Palms go underneath the soles of the feet. Exhale, full forward, drop the head down. Come on, so we're not blocking the knees. Two, now lean into the toes and pull up on the feet. Three, and then forward in that space. See so if you can flex the top of the thighs. Four, so try to focus here. Yeah, just what's happening back here now, we Five. Lift the head, inhale. Exhale, come all the way up to standing. Hands by the side, feet together. Trikonasana, inhale, step back with the right foot at about three or four feet, arms open to side. Right foot faces the back wall. Reach forward, catch the right big toe. You need to move for me. <laughs> it's one. Get back over here. Look up to the left hand. One. Well, don't hit your head on the thing. <laughs> Two. So now you're in the front row. How do you feel? <laughs> Three. Bend the front knee more to grab the toe. Four. And then once you've got it, then you're going to start to straighten the leg and lift up. Five. That's the point. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Right foot comes in, left foot comes out. Reach forward, go the other way. Reach down, left hand grabs the left big toe. Reach the right hand. If you need to bend the front knee, bend the front knee to grab the foot. Two. Three. Push the fingers into the floor with that toe. Four. And five. Inhale, come all the way back up again. B variation, face the back wall. This time the left hand leads. Left hand comes down to the mat, either on the inside or the outside of that right foot. Reach the right hand up to the ceiling. Look up to the right hand, straighten that front leg. One, keep the core engaged. Two, bring that palm on the foot, you got it. Three, yeah, right here is good. Four, keep drawing that right hand behind you. Pushing back with the hand. Five. Use the inhale breath to come all the way up to standing. Start the shift. Exhale, other side. Right hand comes down, left hand goes up. Either on the inside or on the outside. Look up to the left hand. One. There's no one. Two. Push the ground away. Look up to that hand. Three. I like this. There it is. Four. Look up here. Five. Inhale, come all the way up to the starfish toward me. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Exhale, Samastiti at the top of the mat. Parsa Kanasa. Inhale, step back about five feet, four or five feet. Arms open to the side. So it's a bigger step. This time it's the same thing except with bent leg. The right foot's going to face the back wall. Bend the right knee, reach forward. The right hand comes down to the mat on the outside of the right foot. Or, if you're new, the right forearm comes onto the right thigh. Reach the left arm alongside the left ear, look up to the left fingertips, the middle finger. One, the tip of the middle finger. It's the extension of the body. Two, three, see so if you stack shoulder over shoulder now. Four, look up to the hand. Five, inhale, come all the way back up. Turn to face the front of the mat. Sink down to the front knee, bring the left hand down, reach the right arm up, look up to the right hand. For one, the other hand. You got it, you got it. Two, on the outside. That's it. Three. You're in the best spot for this pose. You can see everybody. <laughs> Four. I should start putting my people on this side. So I decided. Five. Inhale, come all the way back. Left foot turns in, right foot turns out. Facing the back wall, B variation. You bring the left knee down onto the mat to start. Reach the left arm to the outside of the right thigh. The hand is tracking toward the floor. Now it may not touch down, that's okay. It's a twist. Reach the right arm alongside the right ear. Look up to the right hand. Curl the back toes under. Lift the back knee up off the ground. Look to the hand. One. The right arm is alongside the right ear. Two. Yes. Now look here. Three. 
twisting into center. Ideally, the back heel turns down to the center of the mat. Four. That's the next part. Yeah. I'll foot. Oh, that's a top leg. So be careful with that knee. Five. Inhale, come all the way back up. Turn to face the sidewall. That's why I told me five breaths. Exhale, other side. Right knee comes down. All of them five breaths. Whether you like it or don't, five breaths. And then we're done. Look up toward the left hand. One. Find the pose again. Two. Hand on the outside of the arm on the outside of the thigh. Two. So what you don't want to do? You no, know, on the outside of the thigh. On the outside of the thigh. Three. Oh, yeah. She's still cheating, but that's okay. I got you. Four. That's it. Just hold it for one more breath. Five. You'll make this next time. Inhale, come all the way back up. Turn to face to the sidewalk. Exhale, so if I have to do it every morning, you gotta do it. That's how that works. Pasarita Padatanasa. Inhale, step back about four or five feet. Hands are on the waist. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands down toward the mat. Not shoulder width apart. Just lift the head up with an inhale. Exhale, fold forward, drop the head down. One. Head comes down to the floor, maybe. The hands walk between the legs. Two, the elbows are shoulder width apart. For three, looking at the nose. Four, bring the weight back into the toes. Three, four. Ah. Then it's this thing. Move forward, engage here. Five. Now straighten the legs again. Keep waiting. Hands are on the waist. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, right. Stand forward. Inhale, arms go up the side. C variation, take the bind. Inhale, interlace the fingers behind the lower back. Lift the chest up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, and as the head goes down, the arms lift back and up. For one, again, the knee into the toes more than the heels. Two, gazes the nose. Three. Four. Five. Use the inhale, leap at the hands, come all the way back up to standing. Exhale right here, stay in the butt. D variation, inhale, hands come on to waist. Exhale, fold, catch the big toes. Lift the head up with an inhale. Exhale, head drops down, shoulders open away from each other for one. Gaze into the nose. Two, when you're pulling yourself down, flex the top of the thighs. Three. One day the head accidentally touches and freaks the gravity. Four. The scary thing. Five. Lift the head. Inhale. Exhale here. Hands to waist. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing. Exhale. Summon Sikhi Hi at the top of the mat. Parsvottanasana. Inhale. The hands come back about. They take reverse prayer or grab onto opposite forearms. Or you could just fist bump. Step back about half the distance we've been stepping, and then turn on the heels to face the back wall. You can separate the feet if you need to. Ideally, it's heel to heel, and the back foot's turned out. Pull forward, chin to shin, looking at the right big toe for one. You can bring the forehead to the knee if you need to, just bend the front knee. Three, and then using the head, you can straighten the leg. Four, I'll just grow a beard at you, and you can touch your chin a little easier. <laughs> That's how I get mine. Five. I'm just saying. <laughs> Inhale, come all the way back up. Makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Turn to face the back wall. Front wall. Fold forward. Chin to left. Uh, chin to left. Shin here. Turn. For one. I'm telling you, it's great. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Made my life so much easier. Four. <laughs> Five. Inhale, come all the way back up. Turn to face the side wall. Release the hands. Exhale, summon stitihi. Udihita hasa, pangangudasana. Just stagger with your neighbor. If you're standing close to someone, one person forward, one person backwards. Lean the weight into the left leg. Bring the right foot up. Catch the right big toe. Left hand is on the hip. Straighten the leg out in front of you as much as you can. You can just hold the foot. Right there. Fold. Chin to shin. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Inhale, come up. Exhale, take the leg out to the side of the room. If you're going further, you can look out over the left shoulder. For one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring the leg back to center. Exhale, fold. Hands to the waist, point the foot, flex the toe. For one, two, without leaning backwards. So you're gonna pull in and up. Four, five. Bring it down. Other one comes up. Catch the big toe. So you can just hold here if you're holding the foot. Take the leg out in front of you, wherever that goes. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, bring the left foot out to the left side of the room. Look out over the right shoulder for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring the leg back to center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back. I almost lost that one again. For one, two, three, four, five. Come all the way down. Ardha Bada Pada Padmutanasana. Right foot comes up to left hip crease. No, Reach the right hand behind the lower back. Catch the right big toe. Fold forward. Left hand down onto the mat. Bend the same way. Yeah, bring the hand down. Gotcha. <laughs> Drop the head. One. Two. How's the knee? Knee's okay? Ankles okay? If you bend this leg. What kind of thing? Okay. Hang on one second. Grab my hand. Grab my hand. Four. Just hold there. Now four. I got you. I got you. Okay, here. Lift the head in half. Exhale here. Bend the standing legs. See if you can inhale. Come on with the stand. I'm going to hold you close. Come on. I got you. Straight away. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Left leg comes up. Left foot. It's a right hip crease. Reach the hand back. Grab the big toe. Fold forward. Bring the right hand down to the mat. For one. Did you catch the other side? But that one side is close though. Two. At least we know your hand is really close. Three. Five. Lift the head, inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, the top. Look Step to the top of the mat. Reach the arms up overhead. Take an inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward, bring the hands down to the floor. Just the head lifts, inhale. Exhale, jump back to a low push up. Elbows come in. Chest lifts up, inhale. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Ukatasana, powerful pose. Pop the feet to the top of the mat. And keep the hips low. Reach the arms up. Palms together, looking at the thumbs for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, bring the hands down onto the mat, bend the knees, kick your own bum, jump backwards, cheddar on here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Virabhadrasana, A and B. Step the right foot forward, left heel turns down. Use an inhale breath to rise all the way up, palms come together, look to the thumbs, sink down into the front knee for one. Back heels on the foot. Two. So the arms don't have to be over the head. You need to be able to see the thumbs. So, so that means bringing the hands a little bit farther forward. You do so. Three. Fingers are uncrossed. They're happy fingers. Four, soften. Squeeze the arms toward each other. Do you see the difference right there? Five. 
straighten the front leg, turn on the heels to face the back wall, sit down into left knee. One, the arms staying right where they were. <laughs> Two, that's the front part. Three, which is in here. Four. Right, just open the arms apart. Left hand forward, right hand back, with the outer of the left hand for one. <laughs> Two. Right hand. Two the hips toward me. Your right hand toward me. Three. Yeah. This one. I want this one. Now look that way. Four. Give me this. Two. One. Five. There it is. That's exciting. Straighten the left leg. Turn on the heels to face the front of the mat. Sink down into the right knee. One. Wonderful. Two. Three. Four. Five. Windmill the hands down, left leg goes into the air. Kick back, low push up. There it is. Chest lifts, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look up to the top of the mat, bend the knees and jump through to seated. Come on to the bum. Legs go forward, hands come alongside the body. Flex the feet to the hips. We're down, we're on the floor. Now it gets harder. Yeah. Chin to chest, look at the tip of the nose or close the eyes. One. Two. Three. Forward, Pashmutanasana A, catch the big toes, in middle and index finger, to bend the knees if you need to. Exhale, fold forward, drop the head down for one. How are we doing? We good? Okay. Two. How are we doing? Three. Six, Lift the head, inhale, exhale here. Pajmutanasana B, grab the outside of the feet. Or D variation, grab opposite wrist. Grab the left wrist today. Pull forward, drop the head down. For one. Cross the shins, jump backwards, take your flow. And now it's a flow between every post. Jump through to seated. Pravotanasa, the hands come back about six inches to a foot behind the hips, fingers face forward. Roll the shoulders slightly forward and then drop them down. Head goes back. Point the toes, lift the hips up off the ground. For one. Sometimes bending the elbows helps get the toes down a little bit. Two, and then once you've got them down, you can straighten the arms. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Five. Come all the way down. Bend the knees, cross the shins again. Jump backwards, take your foot. Stay in downward dog for just one second. So that jump through to seated, when you sweep the legs through, sometimes you just really have to fight for it. So if you don't make it through on the first pass, what you can do is just bring like whatever lead is your leading foot. It usually changes, but this day we'll just cross the legs and then you hop through. And then you get stuck around here and then we sit down. I say fight for that. So maybe just take the left foot a little bit farther forward than the right foot, then the left foot, then the right foot, then the left foot, left foot. And you get all the way through. And sometimes it's a little bit of a battle. See if you can try it. Jump through. And before you sit down, keep taking the legs through. And every time it's a chance to do that again. It's just again and again. Like how do you get jumping through that, that smooth thing? Sometimes you have to fight. And it's a little bit of a struggle. A lot of banda. Mm -hmm. 
Ardhabhada Pada Pajamuttanasana, the right foot comes up to right hip, left hip crease. Right hand reaches back, the right hand grabs the right big toe. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Reach forward, grab the outside of the left foot. Fold forward, drop the head down. One. Sometimes it's almost like it eats at your thigh for a while. Four. Five. Lift the head, inhale. Exhale here. Bend the knees, cross the shins, jump back backwards. These have like learning bruises <laughs> from our <Ardabha. laughs> And there was a couple months where the bruise would move up the thigh. I'm getting closer. <laughs> the leg isn't cutting off much of my thigh anymore. Tirik Mukta Ektapada Pajamutanasana. Jump through to see that. I think you fight for it. Maybe. It sometimes works. <laughs> Lean to the left, bend the right knee. Right foot comes alongside the right bum. Top of the foot is on the mat. Keep the heel close to the bum, but the knees can be as far apart as they need to be. Reach forward, catch the left foot. Fold forward, drop the head down. If you're going for wrist spine, you can grab outer wrist. Yeah. And then fold. And then the eyes look to the, sh the big toe. And your chin onto your shin. And then look at the toe. It's like you gotta do both. So you're looking like, it's like you're doing this. You're like looking through your head. You actually got these, not these eyes. Right? Two. <laughs> the eyes can move independently from the head. It's magic. Three. Four. Five. Just lift the head up, take an inhale, exhale here. Now, before going anywhere, just slide the left leg underneath the right leg. Lean into the hands, and then jump backwards, take your foot. Just a way of moving without, you know, snapping your knee. Which would be a big thing. Do not do that. Come all the way through to see, there's a cold breeze that comes with this thing. That's lovely, eh? <laughs> Uh, lean to the right. Let me stand right here for a bit. Bring the left foot on side of the left hip. Reach forward, catch the right foot. Go forward, drop the head. It's just a little bit. Are you a handicap or Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Bring the hand up to the side. Grab the outside of. Use the left no, no, no. Bring that right hand up to the mat. Use your left hand and grab the outside of that foot. There, you're now full. And pull yourself to the middle. Mm. That got exciting, didn't it? <laughs> the giggles and it's working. Come on, the way back up again. Right leg slides underneath left leg. Reach the knee into the hands. Take your flow. What are you doing, Greg? Janu Shirasana 8. Jump through to seated. Right foot to inside of left thigh. Reach forward, grab the left foot. Fold forward, drop the head down. For one. Two. 
to? I have to take attendance. For three? Four? Five. Just lift the head up, take an inhale. Exhale here. Bend the knees, cross the shins. Jump backwards, take your phone. That's about seven. Other side. So the left foot comes to the inside of the right thigh. Reach forward, grab the right foot, pull forward and down. If you're grabbing for wrist, we're grabbing the outer wrist. One. The theory is the reacher is the grabber. That's kind of how I, I go with the hands, but there's really no ideal. Two. You see, can both hands can grab that foot. Four. Five. Just the head lifts with an inhale. Exhale here. Bend the knees, cross the shin. Jump backwards, take your foot. Don't think about that one so much. Just do it. And then look up past the hands. Bend the knees. And just come onto your bum. And we double these. Really right foot to inside of left thigh. Jelly your ass to B. Gonna lift up, slide forward. And heel goes into the perineum. Reach forward, grab the left foot, drop the head down. When you're sitting on the heel, it's under your bone. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, lift up. Exhale here. Lift off the foot. Bend the knees, cross the shins. Jump backwards, take your foot. I'm about to the other side of John B. We're skipping John C there. That's the chair. Come through to seated. Left foot to inside of thigh. Lift up, slide forward. So left foot comes in, and fall, drop the head down, for one. Two, three, four, and down in. Five, lift up, inhale, exhale here. Bend the knees, cross the shins. Jump back, are you okay? <laughs> Jump backwards, take your flow. Ooh, that's pretty close. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, it's me. Jump through to seated. Marichasana A. Right foot comes to inside, to the outside of the right hip. Give the legs some space so that the foot and the thigh are pretty far apart. You're going to reach the right arm around the right thigh. The left hand just behind the back, bind the hands. And then from there, it's a forward fold, shin to shin. Looking at the left big toe. For one, eventually the, the chin comes onto the chin. Two. Don't ask me, I've never been able to do it. Three, but if I grow my beard longer, maybe. <laughs> Four, just grow a long goatee. And then just. <laughs> Five, lift the head up in town. Exhale here. Bend the knees, cross the shins. Jump backwards, take your foot. You're on the other side. Yeah, so I find it's easier to take that bind. The lower that you can get your arm to wrap, the lower you'll be able to forward fold. Right? So if you're only wrapping around the top part of the knee, it's hard to get further. But if you get the arm down, like around mid-shin, or by near the ankle, that's going to be really easy to fold. Right? It's also thinner. It just requires a depth of the bind. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Inhale, come all the way. Exhale, here. 
bend the knees, cross the chest out, spine open. Jump backwards, take your foot. We're skipping Marachasana B, we're moving to Marachasana C. Jump through to seated. Sets up the same way. Right foot comes alongside the right hip. Keep the foot in the thighs in space. The right hand goes behind the back. It's a twist. Left arm to outside of right thigh. You can look over the shoulder. If you're going through the bind, left arm goes around the right thigh. There's a baby in there. You should see that direction. <laughs> One. Two. Four. Five. Come back to center. Bend the knees, cross the shins. And you don't lose many of the nyasas either. Okay? Okay. You already can Take your foot. Yeah, so all twists you're going to hold for an extra length of time. Left foot to the side of the left hand. Put left hand behind the spine, bring your right arm up and around that left leg. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, cross the shoulders. Jump through your seat in. Navasana, boat pose. Four and three into it. Yay! Legs and feet come up. <laughs> That's <a funny> one. <laughs> Two, since you love it, I'm going to come hang out with you to do this. Three, four, five, cross the shins, hands come down, lift up, come back down, one, two, three, four, five, left over right, inhale, lift up, come back down, one, it's fun, man. two, three, four, Five, cross right shin over left shin, inhale, lift up. <laughs> Jump backwards, take your foot. You're welcome. Not that far away from doing it yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like it either. That's hard. I'm like, how do you do it? <laughs> I usually get this far, not far off the ground. Lay right back on the mat, going to back bend. Soles of the feet come onto the mat. Separate the feet apart. You can go directly into bridge pose. You can bind the hands underneath the lower back and just lift the hips up. Otherwise, we're going directly into wheel. The hands come alongside the ears. Fingers face forward. Push into the hands. Press the body straight up. For one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Just come onto the crown of the head. And then push straight back up again. For one. Two. Okay. Three. A little dizzy. Four. Five. Come down to the crown of the head. Push straight back up again. For one. Grab my knees. Grab my knees. Two. Okay. Look down. Four. Yeah, back down. Five. Chin to chest. <laughs> Very solid. Go all the way. You tuck the chin to the chest. You bring the hands in the back of the head, tuck the chin in. That is one option. The other option is shift cross and backwards somersault. Before you take it, just make sure that there's space behind you before you jump backwards. And then come all the way up to seated forward fold. You got your foot? No? You come up to seated. Grab the feet. Drop the head in. Ten breaths in. Take care.
and so they rise up. We're going to go into the closing sequence. So you can close at your own pace, because I know some of you have to get back to work already. It's quarter two. Um, so the next part is we're going into inversions. At any point, if you need to, you can come to the mat and take rest. And if you need to go, I respect that. Okay? Next one is shoulder stand. You're going to walk the hands up the spine. Legs go up. Elbows come toward each other. Just keep the back of the neck up off the floor. The rest of these poses are eight, a count of eight. So once you've done eight breaths in shoulder stand, then you're going to hinge from the waist and bring the feet down over the head, moving into halasana plow pose. So it would be straight legs. After that, it would be Karna Pidasa with the knees bent. And that's again eight breaths. Just breathe it. Breathe it in and out through the nose. After Karna Pidasa, it moves to Machyasana. The legs will come down. The chest will lift up and come up to the crown of the head. Unless there's a neck injury, you can avoid that. Yeah. But you're moving at your own pace. You don't have to keep the pace that I'm saying. I'm just trying to stay ahead of everyone in the room. <laughs> it moves to Uttana Padasana, the arms and legs come up off the floor, about a 35, 45 degree angle, still on the crown of the head. Palms together. That's it. After Uttana Padasana, it's, it's you come down, you can either take the back of the head and tuck the chin and the chest again, or it's Shikrasana backwards somersault. And if you want to try that or want some help with it, just let me know. When you finish that, you can come up to seated to finish the final three poses, either cross-legged or in lotus. The first one is yoga mudra. You get behind the back into a forward fold for 10 breaths. Then padmasana, arms extended, 10 breaths. And then putu the hands down, the bum lifts up, 10 breaths. And then chaturanga again. Eventually, the hands would grab the big toes. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's just funny that bond. Yeah, I don't have healthy as much as I used to. So 
habe ich nie mehr nicht gemacht. You reach the arms up, bend the knees into the body. Take some time and come over to one side. And slowly rise up to a seated posture on the mat. Bring the hands to prayer at the heart. We're going to end with a single ohm. Take a big inhale. Namaste.